Hello viewers, welcome to my channel ITJ Olympiads and AP Physics with Ambarish and today I have brought a very interesting problem from Jan Kalda. Uh, so without much delay, let's straight away look into the problem. It's a very interesting problem and many students find this to be very difficult. So today we are going to analyze this one. Let's read out. Okay, so Jan Kalda, problem 7 from kinematics, football and the wind. After being kicked by a footballer, a ball started to fly straight towards the goal at a velocity 25 meter per second. So, he uh, kicked the ball and initial velocity of the ball was 25 meter per second and at an angle of uh, cos inverse 0 0.8 with the horizontal. Due to the side wind blowing at uh, u is equal to 10 meter per second perpendicular to the initial velocity of the ball, the ball had deviated from initial course by 2 meters by the time it reached the plane of the goal. So, uh, so ball was supposed to fly straight in a vertical plane, but there was a wind blowing and because of that, there was a sideways drift of the ball. So you can imagine the goal post to be like a vertical pole instead of having some finite uh, dimension along the width. Uh, just for modeling sake, you can assume the goal post to be a vertical pole and the ball is landing 2 meters uh, uh, deviated from its initial course uh, by the time it reached the plane of the goal. So because of sideways drift, uh, it uh, uh, landed, you can say, uh, it was 2 meter off the uh, uh, goal post, okay, uh, because of the uh, sideways drift, okay, uh, sideways wind. Find the time that it took the ball to reach the plane of the goal if the goal was situated at L is equal to 32 meter from the footballer. So the goal was uh, 32 meter away, the plane of the, rather the pole, you can say, the ball was hit directly towards the pole and the pole was 32 meters away but the ball drifted and uh, drifted by 2 meters. So if you want you can give it a try. I will get into my analysis right away. So let us see. Okay. So you see uh, uh, had there been no wind the path of the ball would have been uh, confined to a single vertical plane. Why? Because if there were no wind, you know that drag force will be, the initial velocity is in the vertical plane and the drag force is also against initial velocity, therefore it is always in the vertical plane. So if initial velocity is in the vertical plane and forces, uh, the gravity and the drag force, they are always in vertical plane, that means what? The entire motion would be confined to a vertical plane. But here the problem is that wind is blowing sideways and because of that the motion is not uh, remaining confined to a single uh, plane. However, if you consider from the frame of the wind, things become very simple. Why? Because from the wind frame, there is no more wind, right? If there is no more wind, the drag force is again in the vertical plane only against the velocity vector, which will be confined to vertical plane. And drag force is in the vertical plane, gravity is in the vertical plane. So entire motion becomes simplified from the wind frame. So from the wind frame, the motion of the ball is in a vertical plane. So here, so let me read out what I have written. Uh, okay. So here the drag force dependence of velocity relative to air is not known. We don't even know, we can't apply Stokes law, we don't know how the drag force depends on the relative velocity. So we can't, we don't know whether it's proportional to V or V square or some other complicated function of V. So drag force dependence of velocity relative to air is not known. Therefore motion of the ball from ground frame is complicated. However, from the wind frame, the wind appears stationary. In the top view, the path of the ball will look like a straight line. So in the top view, uh, okay. Uh, let, I'll, I'll show, uh, show this to you. So had there been wind, then in the top view the ball is uh, seen to be deviating. Had there been no wind, it would have uh, fly, uh, I mean it would fly straight along the line. You see, uh, let's say F is the initial point where football is there and G is the point of the goal post in the top view. So if without wind, it would have gone straight. But because of wind, it's going like this. Whereas from the wind frame, if you see, from the wind frame, uh, the velocity of the wind would have to be subtracted from the ball frame. So let me uh, go step by step. Okay. So in the top view, the path of the ball will look like a straight line, even though it may not be a parabola in the front view uh, because of drag force. We shall use this fact to simplify the problem. So this is the top view from the ground frame as you can see wind is blowing like this and therefore uh, ball is getting deviated and this is the top view and the horizontal velocity is V cos alpha initially. right? From the wind frame, goal post appears to move along GH with a speed U. So you see wind is blowing uh, in the upward direction. So from the wind frame, if you see the goal post is no more stationary. It's moving downward with a speed U or you can say uh, backward against the wind. It will appear to be moving with a speed U. So by a time T, the goal post would have shifted by a distance UT, right? So and uh, from the ground frame, it is uh, the ball is 2 meters uh, 
you can say above the goal post if you may call that direction above or to this side you can say from the footballer's point of view it is to the left of the goal post and uh, if it is to the left of the goal post uh, from the ground frame it will be to the left of the goal post even from the wind frame right because left is an absolute direction okay so uh, okay so goal post appears to move along gh in this direction from the wind frame the speed u and in top view the ball appears to move along a straight line along the resultant of v cos alpha and along fg and minus u vector okay so it had an uh, it had a velocity uh, v cos alpha in this direction and because of wind frame you have to subtract a u uh, in the or rather add uh, a velocity opposite to the uh, wind direction so the ball has a velocity which is the superposition of these two velocities let's say this angle is theta so in the top view the ball will appear to move along this uh, straight line because actually it's supposed to be a vertical plane but the top view uh, if you see look at a vertical plane in top view then that uh, each vertical plane would look like a straight line that's why in the top view it looks like a straight line okay and uh, let's say uh, so initially the goal post was here but the goal post has moved through a distance ut because uh, relative to wind the goal post has a, a rightward velocity right so it it goes down by a uh, distance ut and the point where the ball has landed or uh, when the ball is in the plane of the goal post uh, this distance is still 2 meters because that's absolute right if it is 2 meter to the left of the goal post from the ground frame it is also 2 meter to the left of goal post from the wind frame so now what about this tan theta so you know that uh, this is u and this is u cos alpha uh, rather v cos alpha so tan theta is uh, u upon v cos alpha right so this is u and this is v cos alpha so tan theta is u upon v cos alpha and that can also be written as what see uh, g dash g uh, the initial position of goal post to the final position of goal post this distance is ut and this distance is s so g dash p dash is nothing but uh, ut minus s so tan theta is also ut minus s divided by l right and now you can simply rearrange this equation to uh, solve for uh, uh, time so if you just rearrange this equation you get t is equal to s upon u plus l upon v cos alpha so that's our answer in symbols now if you want you can um, put in the values so uh, we are given s is 2 meters l is 32 meter u is 10 meter per second v is 25 meter per second and cos alpha is pointed putting in all the values uh, this uh, you get the time is equal to 1.8 seconds so uh, that was my analysis for this uh, beautiful problem i hope you enjoyed the analysis and if you did enjoy the analysis please do give a thumbs up to my video and please share this video as much as possible uh, with your friends through whatsapp telegram discord or whatever cord you use for networking with your uh, uh, fellow students who are preparing for iit je or olympiads and thanks a lot for watching this video and most importantly yes if you're not already subscribed to my channel please uh, do hit that subscribe button please uh, subscribe to my channel because that what that's what keeps me motivated to do new videos for uh, all of you uh, frequently Okay thank you very much once again for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one and as always god bless you all thank you